Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, help identify functions, otherwise tell whether it's a function or not. Using the set of order pairs, uh, table, uh, we're going to use mapping diagrams and graphs. Those are, <coughs> excuse me. So I've created a function and non-function side. So the first thing we're going to do is a set of order pairs. Uh, a set of order pairs is called a relation. And so anyway, so here we go. We have a set of order pairs, and I'm just going to um, do um, So I'm creating a set of ordered pairs here. And I'm not going to make too many. I'm just making enough just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, and then there's a set of ordered pairs. And here is a set of ordered pairs. Okay, the first thing you kind of need to know when you're talking about a function or not a function, the, the term I use for function means that it kind of works mathematically. I mean, it really kind of works. So uh, there's some problems that just don't work. So in, in this overall, let me give you an example of what I mean by something that works and something that doesn't work. So like when we square a number, okay, uh, let's say I square uh, 2. All right, and we know that this means negative 2 times a negative 2, which is 4. All right, that works, so that's a function. Now, if we have a situation where they're telling us, I mean, let's say the data is telling us, whatever we have in our graph table or whatever, whenever they say that 2, uh, negative 2 square is 3, so otherwise, they're saying negative 2 square is 4, but they're also saying negative 2 square is 3, which that's impossible. You can't have a x value um, having two different y values. That's basically what we're talking about. All right, so I'm going to uh, demonstrate all the like the tables, the graphs, and all that, and the mapping diagram stuff, just so you can see it. So one of the first things we need to do, and I'm going to make this out in red so we can kind of see a little better, uh, is that x cannot repeat. All right, x cannot repeat. Y can, but not x. Okay, so y can repeat, but not x. All right, so let's look at the one on the left. The one on the left, we're just looking at the x values. There's a zero, there's a one, and there's a negative one. All right, no x repeats, so this is a function. Okay, if we look at here, we got one, we got a two, we got a one. See how the ones repeat? In the x value, so this, because they repeat, x cannot repeat. Since they repeat, this is not a function. All right, so that's how easy this really is to identify when you're looking at an ordered pair. Even a table, you just you look for where x, see if x repeats. All right, so I'm going to um, erase this, and we'll go on. All right, so you saw that, that x cannot repeat, all right, and so in a, in a set of order pairs. Now, a, y can repeat, and I did this just so you can kind of see it. You see the y value here and the y value here. They repeated, and it's still a function. It's only x cannot repeat. All right, so let's do another one. We're going to do a, um, we're going to do a table now. So we're going to do a table. And it tables the same way. We've got x, we've got y, and so uh, I'm going to say 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, and we're going to have 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, on this one, we have x and y, we have a table. Remember, we're looking for x and y repeating. So we could have 1, 2, 1, 3, uh, 2, uh, 3, negative 1, uh, 4. And again, like we said before, you can't have x repeating. So like in this situation, 
none of the x none of this so this would be a function because no x repeats all right and if you notice in the other one we have a, an x value here repeating we have an x value there repeating okay so the x's cannot repeat so the table it's the same way like we talked about in order pair all right then let's say a, a mapping diagram or let's do a table let's do a graph first because graphs are usually pretty easy all right, so in a graph situation, let's say you have a graph, all right? If my, and it, uh, let's say I have a line that looks like this, all right? And let's say that I have a graph that looks like this, all right? We can do what we call the vertical line test. The vertical line test means I can draw a straight line. Vertical means up and down. I can draw a straight line. And every time I draw it, I only touch the, the one time. See how I only touched it one time every time I drew a line? I only touched it one time. If I draw a vertical line test on this, you notice I touch it more than once each time I draw it. Okay. Now the rule is, if you only touch it once twice, then it's not a function. Okay. But if I touch it, if I don't touch it at all more than once, then it is a function. So this one is a function. This one's not. And that's how I have them written out. Okay. So the vertical line test, that's another one. All right, so let's go to a mapping diagram. Okay, a mapping diagram usually consists of, sometimes you see them like ovals or something. And so I'm going to just create something, three, four, uh, five. All right, and there's a mapping diagram. And then we'll have uh, three, four, uh, five here, mapping diagram here. And they usually tell you by arrows, uh, you know, which one goes with which. So in this case, we'll always ask, always have students say, uh, does X only go to one Y value? Okay, so that's what you keep asking yourself. So does two, if you see here, does this two only go to one Y value? Yes, it does only go to one Y value. Does this three only go to one Y value? Yes, even though it goes it's shared with two, it still only goes, that x only goes to one y value. Uh, does four, does this x value only go to one y value? Yes. Does this x value go to one y? Yes. So in this case, this is a function. All right. Now, let's look at one that's not a function. All right, so I'm going to draw, uh, let's see, three, four, five. Uh, negative one, one, two. All right, put a little O's here. Uh, let's say that here and here. All right, and then this one goes here, and this one goes there. Okay, the first thing you're going to ask: Does this x value only go to one y value? Well, no, it goes to two y values. And so the way they really write this is the arrows point out like that's 3, negative 1. And the other one would be 3, 3, 1. 3, 1. See? And see how the extras repeat? So it doesn't. Now, notice 5 goes to 1, so does 3. 5 only goes to 1 y value, so it's okay. So this x only goes to 1 y value. This 4 only goes to 1. But because we only have, we have one number that repeats... On the x side, it is not a function.